Let's go straight into it then. Why isn't the 40 FPS balance mode more of a standard mode in the console space? I played Horizon Forbidden West in balance mode and the image quality looks almost exactly like the quality mode while only slightly losing input response. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is 40 is 40 FPS 1440p the way to go? Thanks, exclamation point. Uh, Horizon is quite interesting because we I think we discovered with the Burning Shores um, DLC that the uh, 40 FPS mode was actually using checkerboarding. That's correct, yeah. Uh, whereas the um, the straight 30 was using um, native resolution. Uh, Oliver, why aren't we seeing more 40 FPS modes? I don't know. I think I think it is a good compromise. And in that case, yeah, yeah you're looking at a checkerboarded 4K versus a native 4K, I believe both with the potential for some DRS, which, you yeah. know, subjectively they looked pretty similar to me. I mean, the balanced mode is a little bit Absolutely. more soft, but at a typical viewing distance, they're almost identical subjectively, at least to me. It, I will say it is a bit, bit of a pain to capture and display with correct frame, frame pacing to our audience. <laughs> uh, but <Yes>. certainly, <laughs> certainly uh, for consumers, it's a good choice. I think one potential factor is there are a lot of displays out there that are 4K 60 panels or are 4K um, pixel displays, but can only do 1080p 120 or 1440p 120. Those are very common. Unless you've purchased like a mid-range or high-end panel from the last two years or so, 4K 120 support was not super common in my experience. Plus yeah. on Xbox, I believe 40 FPS is non-trivial to support because they need to use some kind of heur heuristic to detect 120 hertz output, I believe. That could be wrong, but right. I think that's correct. Plague Tale Requiem did it, but I'm not aware of other titles, at least off the top of my head, that included 40 FPS modes on Xbox. So those are a few a few wrinkles. But I think it is a good idea, and I, I certainly think that it's a good compromise in terms of good, getting good image response at good image quality on the consoles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alex? Yeah, I, I agree with every single thing that Oliver said. I think it is mainly just because the standard display that they have to assume is the bare minimum that everyone plugs into is at most capable of 60 hertz uh, for the standard content. So that's why it's not like a default and it's more in a nice addition, even though I'd agree, I would vastly prefer it to a 30 FPS update for a quality mode. If a game had like, for example, like a, a skull and bones <laughs> level of, <laughs> of performance mode, or even I would say even worse is probably something like Final Fantasy 16. Uh, where its performance mode is like FSR one, really low resolution, <laughs> still doesn't even hit the frame rate target. Uh, so like that's that's where I'd say like yeah, that forty FPS mode is really nice uh, as an addition. So I agree with that. Um, I just really hoping one day that YouTube allows for one hundred twenty hertz video support. Yeah, must be uh, coming surely. Because then we would okay. just export the videos at one hundred twenty FPS you would see the 60 FPS content more or less the same as someone would see it on a 60 hertz display, but then the 40 FPS content would actually work and we wouldn't have to slow down footage for it to make sense. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple of things to add to this. Um, first of all, I fully take on board the points being made. First of all, it's difficult on Xbox because um, you know the display, the, the idea is really straightforward, right? Um, this was certainly the case for One X. It may well have changed for Series X, but the point is that um, if the developer doesn't see that, you know, whichever um, mode you've got, then, you know, they should just be, um, uh, you, know, you, you shouldn't be uh, applying single modes to single use case scenarios based on what your dashboard is set to. Uh, I guess there must be some sort of flag to see whether they're running at 120 hertz, uh, because otherwise, you know, how would they reduce resolution um, to accommodate that, as we've seen in countless games? Mm -hmm. um, other things to bear in mind. Uh, number one, um, if you've got two modes, you know, performance and quality, that's two runs of QA that need to be done. If you're adding another one, that becomes three. And um, not every developer is going to be able to accommodate that uh, in terms of budgets, especially with the state of things at the moment. Secondly, the strength of the 40 FPS mode is the fact that it's a 25 millisecond frame time, which is at the exact midpoint between 40 and 60, right? That's, that's kind of why it works. But it also means that um, all of the render budgets that were designed for 33 milliseconds per frame now need to accommodate 25. And, you know, 
possibly with stuff like DRS or in the case of Horizon checkerboarding, uh, that gets the job done. But what about your CPU? You know, if you're CPU heavy and you're just about hitting your, you know, 33 millisecond budget, then yeah, when you've got a, when that's sort of savagely curtailed to 25, that becomes more of an issue. So I think those are the reasons why. And yeah, of course, the fact that um, 120 hertz 4K displays have only really been a thing since 2020. That's another thing as well. I'm sure Microsoft and Sony have full telemetry on what actual, you know, the amount of 4K 120 screens that are actually out there. And uh, I suspect it would be surprisingly low.